Hello everybody and welcome to your next C++ LEGO 5 tutorial and this tutorial we're going to continue where we left off last tutorial now one thing that we're gonna have to add is we're gonna go have to, we're gonna have to go to our animation class I have to go to our bitmap and instead of putting image here we can just get rid of this put um, asterisk and ampersand and we're gonna put our source rect and we're gonna go back to our animation.cpp changes to source rect put our source rect and go to our sprite sheet animation and change the source rect uh, the reason why I've done this is because they are uh, whenever we call our load content it says this is undefined did I spell it wrong oh we forgot to put animation source rect okay uh so the reason why I've done this is that when we go to animation.cpp we go to load content we set our our image our source rec to the image right so they're both the same thing but the reason why I've changed the source rec is because we want to um, set source rec to something so down here we're gonna say a dot source rec is equal to al create sub bitmap okay so the parent is going to be hmm maybe I should keep the image yeah maybe that was kind of stupid so I will keep the image sorry for that sorry for that guys making you just delete it and you have to put it back don't hate me please anyways uh, so we'll just put this back Okay, so our pin is uh, our image. Okay, uh, for our X and for our Y, that's going to be where we want to start cropping the image from. So we want to crop from AL current frame from a current frame dot first times a dot frame dimensions dot first, and then for the Y, we want to start cropping from a current frame dot second times a dot frame dimensions dot second lastly for the width and height we just do a frame dimensions dot first and we do a dot frame dimensions dot second okay so that will crop out the image and we could in the draw routines just um draw a bitmap region but the reason why i haven't done that it's because in the draw routines you can't do a bitmap region scale an image and do all the rotating and all that stuff under one command so I've cropped it out so that we can still scale it fade it do whatever we want to do it in our draw routine so that essentially should be done for us so let's go to our animation class animation.cpp let's go to our draw so since our source so most all of the time this is going to get drawn anyways it's never going to even reach here so we could in fact uh, just get rid of this and so this is going to draw our source rect and change this from 0 to 255 or else we won't see our image at all okay and that should draw everything should be according to plan so what we have to do is go to our player class and I hope I haven't already implemented it if I have then we'll just walk through it uh, looks like we don't have it so I'm gonna add want to include sprite sheet animation dot H and we're gonna make an animation instance so I'll call this P animation for player animation and we'll create a sprite sheet animation and I'll call this SS animation okay so in player.cpp uh, I guess to the top 
or no actually at the bottom so we're gonna call p animation dot load content so our image is our player image there's no text and we just pass in the position okay so that is done for us uh, I'm not sure if we have any unload content for player yeah we do so I mean for our animation so we'll just call p animation dot unload content and for update we'll just call ss animation dot update we'll pass in our p animation and down here we can just get rid of this and then we will call p animation dot draw pass in our display so if everything goes according to plan this should run smoothly now one more thing that we want to do before we even run this is go to our screen manager.cpp and scroll down to initialize and because we've already done this stuff why make it go through the splash screen and everything we're focusing on the gameplay so it changes to the default screen to gameplay so for testing purposes so it goes faster anything we could do to speed up the game making process is good so just change that so we don't have to go to the splash screen, then title screen, then gameplay screen, so on and so forth. So hopefully this compiles correctly. Oh, and I think there will be a problem. So yeah, there is a problem. Uh, so we never set anything for our amount of frames or anything. So by default, we're going to assume that all our images or our spreadsheet images are going to be like that, like this. But we can always modify them outside of the class when we don't when we need to uh, but for now in our animation.cpp we're just gonna go to our load content at the top and we'll just set our amount of frames is equal to SCD pair and we will set it to 3 by 4 and for our current frame we will just set that to one zero so we'll just set it to a standing animation and let's run this again let's see if it works so voila we got a standing animation and um it, it's working while we're standing okay so one more thing before this tutorial ends is that we just want to see it in action just for the fun of it right it won't actually move or anything but what we're gonna do right here is we'll just call p animation dot is active and set equal to true so let's see if the motions when it cycles through it if it works properly so it is working but it's going at a super snail pace right uh, so what we gotta do is go here and we will set the switch frame let's switch it to 10 So it switches, right? So it switches the frame, but it doesn't, uh, it switches the frame, but then it doesn't keep on switching the frame. So there's a problem there and we're gonna have to figure out the problem quickly. Okay, so I think the problem is that we um, were saying if it's greater than the width of our source rect. So after we switch our frame and we got our source rect down packed, then uh, our source rect is only 32 by 32 pixels wide. So we got to change this back to a.image. Run this one more time. And we can see our image is moving. Now, uh, it looks kind of like laggy, kind of, sort of. So uh, maybe it's because of the switch frame value. Maybe it's because it's too... Uh, too high not really sure but we can we can always modify that later on so now it's kind of fast whatever but we can find a good medium you can play around with it find something that works for you and we can make it more effective later on whenever we need to so that is going to be it for this tutorial the next tutorial we're going to be adding in player input to move around the player and so on and so forth so that's it for this tutorial don't forget to comment rate and subscribe Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to tell your friends. If you have a problem, don't be afraid to post on my forum on my website. Um, a lot of people are there. Um, they'll help you out. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial. I'm